Hey guys, welcome back. I'm still working on this 2005 Ford F-250 with the 6-liter power stroke. It's got a charging system problem. I was trying to do some hot starts to make sure everything was good, and it just kept getting harder and harder to start. These power strokes will not start when the batteries are, are down. If the, if the system voltage doesn't stay above like 9 or 9.5 volts while it's cranking, it, they will not start. The ECU will not fire the injectors. Okay guys, something wasn't sitting right with me about this testing that we did yesterday. And I went home last night, read up on the service information, and came down here this morning. First thing, did a little bit of testing, and this truck does not need an alternator. What it needs is a competent mechanic to properly diagnose it. And apparently I wasn't capable of doing that yesterday, so we're going to pretend like we're competent today and see if we can figure this out. According to the service information, what happens is that power comes into the instrument panel through a fuse, through the battery light, and then comes down to the voltage regulator, and the voltage regulator provides a ground. And then as soon as you start the truck and the voltage regulator basically turns on, this ground goes away and the battery light goes out. So if you do not have power at this terminal here, at this wire, which is whatever it is, this light green and red wire, if you don't have power there, key on, engine off. The voltage regulator will not turn on. <laughs> know your equipment. To use the amp clamp with this fluke meter, you have to be in millivolts, but you see this little yellow line with a dashed line underneath of it? That means you got to hit this special function button here in order to read DC millivolts. So I was reading AC millivolts, so all the amp readings that we got yesterday are, are worthless. So anyway, Let's see if we can get our head screwed on right and figure out what's going on with this truck. Okay, here's the first clue. I'm going to turn the key on, engine off. Notice that we do not have a battery light. It would be down here in this corner. So again, we're back probed on that connector. Light green with red. And you see we should have power here right now, which we do not have power there. So that's the second clue that we've got a problem that's not the alternator. So what we're going to do is we're going to fake it. So I back probed into that harness again, and I'm going to use my test light to basically supply power to that terminal. This is going to take the place of the battery light. So let me start the truck. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. I tore the dash apart and took the instrument panel out. So key on, engine off. I'm gonna check this one pin right here. Hopefully. I don't know if I can do it without putting my big fat arm in your way. Okay, can we see that? We got the test light on and the battery light comes on. So at the very least the instrument panel is good and we're good through this connector. Alright, tell them this isn't my fault. You were hired to replace the engine. You replaced the engine so a broken wire is not a you problem. Yeah, but an engine that doesn't have a working alternator isn't really much of an engine, is it? I have no idea. I don't know nothing about an alternator and an engine for all that matter. All right. Thanks for sticking up for me. You're welcome. All right. Back to work. We got to fix this thing. So underneath the hood, I pulled this big old connector apart and it's good. So we got a connection at that connector, but somehow it gets lost by the time it goes down to that little guy. 
So I really don't want to pull that inner fender liner back out, but I think we're headed there. Unless I can get this ABS valve out of the way, but I don't think there's any way to do that. All right, back at the wiring schematic here. This is our instrument panel right here. And we checked this connector here, C146. Looks like this, pin 21. And we were good there. So I guess that means that everything going through, yeah, everything going through the firewall is okay. And inside the cab is okay. This connector is at the bottom underneath of the, the auxiliary fuse panel. But then from there, it, we lose it, and I don't have anything at C1298. I don't know where this connector 1148 is, and I'm not sure exactly what it does. Uh, let's see. So there's 1298. We checked that one, and there's no, no juice there. So here's 1148, and it shows it having several different connections in that connector but I can't seem to locate it so for some reason it connects to this 3090 wire so I don't know we gotta try to find that connector somewhere Alright guys, now that I've literally torn the whole truck apart, I finally found this connector, C1148. It's all the way over here on the passenger side. So the wiring runs all the way over top of the cowl, down along the fender well. And that's it. Come on. Focus. That's it right there. Looks like rodent damage to me. So... We found our problem. Man, I kept poking around there on, on top of that fender well and I couldn't find anything. Yeah, it was all the way on the opposite side of the truck. So, we'll have to remedy that. Uh, you know what the most aggravating part about this is? It's not that this was the last component of the system that we checked. And of course, that's where we found the problem. The most aggravating part is that this, this part of the harness does nothing. It's only used when the truck has two alternators. I believe. And so if you don't have two alternators, all it all it has is this dummy plug right here that just connects the two wires back to each other. Stupid. So anyway, let's figure out a way to fix this thing. Okay, it's fixed. I eliminated the connector and just, just spliced the wires together and terminated the other three that don't do anything. Like I said, the connector's not used in this application anyway, so we'll just get rid of it. Quick tip on these dashboard trim panels. So this whole bezel, panel, whatever, it just pops off. You know, grab yourself a little prying device and pop it out of there. And then you got to reach up behind and undo all of these connectors. And if you put the steering wheel all the way down and drop the shift lever all the way down into first gear, there's just enough room to do that. But then once you have the thing out, you can actually, almost everything that has an electrical connection, you can pop out of the panel. And then you can go ahead and hook it up after the dash panel has been installed and then just slide this little gizmo back in like so so yeah everything except for I think except for the climate control has a removable insert that you can pop out And this PowerPoint deal here has been has been toasted, so no saving that. Boom. Just like that. Alright, moment of truth. Will we have a battery light? Yes we do. Let's see if it'll start. Well, what do you guys think? I'm saying mouse. 
What I find hilarious about this is there's five wires in this connector here. Three of them do nothing, but which two did the mouse chew on? The only two that mattered. Pretty devious. Okay guys, we fixed it. We got off on the wrong, kind of on the wrong foot, but we were able to redeem ourselves. I'm not going to tell you how long I spent figuring this all out because <laughs> it's, it's a little bit ridiculous. I should have been able to, to track that down a little quicker, but uh, yeah. problem with repairs is that sometimes your, your brain is your, your own worst enemy. And for whatever reason, I was just convinced that we were going to find a problem with one of the harnesses that I installed when I put the engine in because, you know, I was there, I disturbed all those things. You never know what could happen. But it turned out that it was just some little cheese-eating bastard who decided to have himself a snack and pretty much ruined our day. So, at least we can take solace in the fact that we did not launch a $170 alternator at it and then still have to do all this work to figure out why it wasn't charging. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.